this is how I removed, rebuilt, and reinstalled my own 6L80 transmission out of my 2011 Suburban myself and probably will save thousands of dollars. Hey, what's up viewers? So obviously transmissions are not an easy thing to do, but they're also very expensive and let's just face it, we don't have the money for this. So let's get into this and let me show you what's up. Either before or after the vehicle's in the air, disconnect the negative battery terminal. Don't forget to do this. In order to remove the transmission, you've got to get the vehicle high enough to be able to get the transmission out from underneath and have enough room to work on it and not hurt your back or anything while you're doing that. In order to do that, I've developed this method, which I feel perfectly comfortable with. But if you don't feel comfortable with it, don't do it. Using a bottle jack and a few different size blocks, you can get this vehicle up safely if you pay attention, you're careful, and you're not scared. Once the vehicle is up and secured safely, removal can begin. First, remove the 18 10 millimeter bolts that support the transmission fluid pan. As you can see, the exhaust is in the way of bringing the pan down, sort of. It's going to have to come out anyways, but for right now, don't take the exhaust out. Make sure to have your drain pan ready to get the fluid because once all the screws are out, it'll start coming out and it'll come real fast. That exhaust will help keep it from falling down on you, splashing everywhere uh, and making a mess. But no matter how much you try, messes are still going to happen. You need lots of towels, shop towels, shop rags, anything to suck and absorb the oil. After you've drained as much fluid as you can in this position, be careful because you've got gasket um, and it's there's still a lot of oil in there that can spill and make a mess see from this angle there's quite a bit of oil still left in there or fluid I'll say carefully take your gasket out because you're gonna reuse that most likely and then you'll have to use both hands to kind of lift the the pan up and kind of pull it out I only have two hands. I wasn't able to video me doing that, so it's just the way it is. So, look for metal. This is a magnet right there. Look for metal at this point. It looks like... It looks like I got some. It's really disappointing. I'll tell you why later. You can take a towel and wipe it out. Or if you want to, you know, take a picture of it. Whatever you need to do. I'm going to set this to the side here. After you've removed the pan, gasket, and filter, kind of wipe it back down if you want, and then put the uh, pan back on and hold it back up there with a couple of bolts. Everyone's exhaust is different, so, um, yeah, and there's a lot of other videos on YouTube. You can figure out how to get the exhaust out. If you don't know how to get your exhaust out, then you probably have no business trying to, to do this task. Your drive shaft should be held together with four bolts like that. Uh, and once you take those out, it will slide out. Um, 11 millimeters should be the size for that. In my case, I have to rotate the drive shaft to be able to get all the screws out. Set them down somewhere. Don't lose them. Be careful because once those are out, there's really nothing holding the drive shaft anymore. So if you're not careful, it could fall on you. We're going to unhook it from here and then we're going to pull it this way out of the transmission fluid will come out of it so make sure you have a pan ready to catch that fluid it's not much fluid it's just a little bit then once you got the drive shaft out you're gonna put it to the side take these two strap type brackets and the four screws bolts put them back in here so you don't lose them it would really suck to lose these so just do it take a ratchet strap run it over here on the driver's side kind of behind the uh, tire right along the line with this thing run it over the frame uh, reach for it and fish it through the other side of the frame hook it onto the frame so that it's like this going over the top of the frame and coming out the other side so that you can go under the transmission and what you're trying to get is for the strap to go up the top of the frame I'm trying to get a video for you guys. Under the transmission, at the at the rear output, whatever, back over across the top of the passenger side frame, 
you're gonna pull it down and around and then hopefully end up with a result like this so you see we're anchored on both both anchor points on the driver's side outside edge of the side of the frame you go around the transmission on the bottom so that we can hold it because we're about to take that out up on top of the frame wrapping around it and we're secured just like that take out the 15 millimeter nut that's holding the back of the transmission to this whatever that's called if you don't have deep sockets you're not gonna be able to get it all right so this is 13 16 right there 